Hello, I'm Michael James, and I serve as the Associate Director of the Broadway Department at the Rose Theater. I teach musical theater, entry-level dance courses, all-boys dance classes, and acting. And I also help run the performance groups known as the Junior, Senior, and Mini Brigades, and I direct and choreograph youth productions. This is a stay-at-home full body workout. I know what you're thinking. The gyms are closed, dance classes are canceled. How am I supposed to maintain my strength training and my conditioning? Well, this workshop is designed for you to be able to use all the assets that you have at home, but still maintain all of the work that you've been working on throughout the course of this year. So there's no need to leave your house and no need to purchase or buy anything. All you need is a space for you to move in, whether that's in your living room or a basement or even your bedroom. You need something like a chair or a couch or a coffee table or even a bed that you can do some arm exercises on. Any one of those things will be beneficial to you and you can still get the same amount of training out of it. And lastly, you need water. You have to stay hydrated. So, this workshop is meant for everyone. I typically do it for my boys dance classes, but I challenge you, whether you're a parent or a student, to give the circuit a try. Ready to get going? Let's do it. All right, friends, we're gonna start putting our heels together, hands on your sides, squeezing those legs nice and tight, and we're gonna start with plies. Starting in first position, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna demi, stretch, demi, stretch, demi, stretch, demi, stretch. Make sure that you are squeezing those legs nice and tight every single time you come up, up to really engage those leg muscles. One more. Up. Open to second position. Down. Up. And down. Up. Down. Squeeze up. And down. Squeeze up. Four more. One. Two. Three, and four. Now we're gonna close to fifth position, taking your heel and making it touch your back toe, squeezing those legs nice and tight. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, demi, and stretch, demi, and stretch. And demi, squeeze tight, demi, squeeze tight, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now we're gonna switch legs, taking this right leg and switching it to the back. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Demi, stretch, demi, squeeze those legs nice and tight, up, down, up, demi, up, four more, up, down, up, shake it up. All right, now we're gonna do what is known as a standing bicycle. Put your hands behind your head, and you're gonna bring your knee up, down. Other leg, down. Really engaging your core, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Really control.
contract that core. You can even speed it up. Good. Shake it up. That's a good way to really engage your core muscles. Now, we're gonna do lateral reaches. Open your legs up to a second position. And we're gonna reach. And reach. Reach. As far as you can. Engage those abs. Very good. Shake it up. Standing knee to chest. Hands on your side. Bringing the knee up, all the way up to your chest. Down. Lunge down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. I'm going to turn sideways. Up. So you can see that I'm lunging down as I go. Up. Down. Up, down, up, down. Shake it out, take a breath. Now we have to do the other side. Left leg, here we go. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Turning around so you can see me on the side. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. One more. Up. Down. Great. Shake it up. You should start to feel those legs tingling now. Now we're gonna do a single leg spring. Put your hands behind your head and you're bringing your knee up to your elbow, onto the side. Really working those core legs and those core abs. Here we go. We're going one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shake it up. All right, now it's time to move to the floor. All right, friends, now it's time for us to work on our arms and our core abs, and we're gonna alternate between the two. This is the time to grab that chair that I discussed earlier that you're gonna wanna have easily accessible to you. We're gonna start by laying on the floor, making a 90 degree angle with our legs. We're gonna lift them up, and you're gonna take your hands, lock them, and put them behind your head. We're gonna start off by doing 10 of these. And remember, you can do more if you feel like you need more of a challenge. You're just going up and back. Up, back, up, back, up, back. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Take a breath. Bring it forward. Next, we're going to do some incline push ups. Now, they're called incline because we're going up at an angle. And so, what we're doing is putting our hands around the edge of the chair, or maybe you're using the edge of your bed, or the edge of the couch. Either one will get the point across. So, we're going to grab it, the edge, and make sure you're making an angle. And we're gonna do 10 push-ups. Going down and up, down and up. Let's speed it up a little bit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a 
breath. Move that chair out of the way. Gonna lay back on the floor. We're gonna do knee to elbow crunches. That's bringing your knee up to your elbow and you're working your core abs and your obliques as well as you're twisting. All you wanna do is lay back, put your hands behind your head, knees up here. And what you're doing is you're taking your right elbow and crossing it over to your left knee. And you're doing the same with the other side, bringing your left elbow over to your right knee, twisting as you go. Going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a breath. Very good. Ready for the next thing? It's time for dips. Put your arms on the edge, and there are different ways that you can do this. So, the easier option is to make a 90 degree angle with your legs and your arms out here to the side, elevating yourself over here. But if you wanna make it a little bit more difficult, straighten those legs and cross them so that you can go lower with your arms. But I'm gonna do the easier option first. Here we go. Doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it harder. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Very good. Take a break. Get some water if you need some. Next, we're doing plank knee ends. So how that works. If we're gonna get into a plank position, down on your elbows. You wanna make sure that you're extended and straight off the ground. But then, you're going to take your knee and bring it into your chest. Just bringing it up and into your chest, holding that plank position because it contracts your abs and keeps them engaged. But then you're forcing them to crunch as you bring that knee in. Let's try some. I'm gonna do 10. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a breath. Breathe for a minute. Let's bring that chair back. Now we're gonna do decline push-ups. Bum, 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 bum. With decline, we're going down, and all of the weight goes up and helps build up your chest muscles and your triceps as well. And so, we're gonna put our feet up on the chair or on your bed or on the couch. And make sure you have a straight body, chest up, and you're going one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Very good. Shake it off. Move that chair out of the way. And now we're almost done. We're going to do Reverse crunches. How does that work? You lay down on your back, laying your arms out flat down here, let your knees relax a little bit, and we are going to take our legs and we're going to crunch them in and up. 
But as we go up, we're lifting our bottoms up into the air. And then as we come back down, we're extending our legs. But they don't touch the ground. So you have to hold that contracting position for the entire time. Ready to give it a shot? Here we go, I'm gonna do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Take a break. Grab some water if you need it. We've made it to the end of our video. And this is where I have a challenge for you. I challenge you to make a recording of yourself attempting to do a handstand push-up. When I was growing up in dance classes, my dance teacher made us do handstand push-ups every single class. And so I'm going to challenge you and I expect you to tag me on social media so I can see that you're putting in the work. Ready to see me give it a shot? Here we go. I did three. Can you beat that? Thanks for participating in the full body stay at home workout. Remember to tag either me or the Rose Theater on social media once you've completed your handstand challenge. And I look forward to working with you guys again soon. Make sure you're looking into our summer classes as well as what's gonna be coming up for the fall. Hope to work with you guys soon.